Hello everyone, I am Sanjeev Kumar, a student of uh, MTech Thermal Engineering, NIT Durgapur. I am going to start a topic from IC Engine. That is auto cycle. Before starting this topic, uh, I would like to tell you something about gate. The full form of gate is Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. It was started by seven IITs and IISC Bangalore. Okay. This was started uh, so that the students will get uh, admission into higher studies like MTech or do PhD. MTech, uh, you can do MTech from NIT, IITs, and same PhD also. Uh, but but nowadays, due to many PSUs entering into the gate and uh, they consider the gate marks like uh, IOCL, BPCL, HPCL and many more. They, uh, they get the gate scorecard and hire the students. So uh, uh, there is an enormous rise in the number of students uh, taking the gate exam. And also there is a possibility that you can go to research like in DRDO, BAR, you can also go for PGTM courses, postgraduate post -graduate, uh, post -graduate diploma courses uh, like in NITI Mumbai, Uh, so the scope of gate is not limited to just for MTech or PhD and uh, I can also tell you that uh, in MTech many students go to MTech so that they can get some stipend of 12,400 for 2 years and for PhD 25,000 per month and plus HR. So uh, taking the scenario of uh, uh, present situation in India, uh, we can say that uh, there is a very much limited job opportunity for the students. So uh, they uh, go to these, uh, they attempt the gate and uh, uh, pursue the higher education like MTech or PhD so that they don't have to rely to their parents. So this is something related to gate. So the, the scope is not very limited, it is a very wide scope. So, uh, students are taking it with both, both hands. Now, I would like to tell that uh, uh, IC engine is uh, how much um, valuable in the gate examination. Earlier, IC engine got uh, one to two questions from uh, in gate, but uh, in nowadays. Uh, this one to two questions has now changed and the gate pattern is, is uh, not limited to just one to two questions. They can ask from anywhere, from any topic. Maybe uh, it can be asked for four to, five, four to five marks in one set or in another set it can ask for zero marks. So uh, nowadays the scenario is uh, completely changed. So we, we cannot leave any topic uh, earlier, we can leave that topic so that only one or two marks is coming from uh, this topic. So you can leave that. But now the uh, situation is completely changed. So we have to study all the topics uh, equally. Now my topic is auto cycle. As we all know that In auto cycle, or it is also called uh, constant volume cycle. And this is based on petrol. That is, petrol engine is based on auto cycle. So, first we draw the PV, PV curve 
फॉर ऑटोसाइकिल इनिशियली फॉर प्रोसेस वन टू टू फॉर प्रोसेस वन टू टू इट इज एडियाबेटिक कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम वन टू टू One to two compression occurs. That is the volume decreases, and it is also adiabatic. So from two to three, two to three is constant volume heat addition process. So uh, the heat is uh, heat is added. Inside the combustion chamber, in constant volume, then there is from three to four. Adiabatic expansion process. Then from four to one. constant volume heat rejection process we can also do the diagram for <coughs> temperature and entropy curve like in 1 to 2 it is adiabatic compression that means the entropy remains change uh, remains constant from 2 to 3 Heat addition process that means temperature will increase. Then three, uh, three to four expansion process that is also in adiabatic condition. So entropy will be constant, and then four to one heat rejection process in constant volume. So this is V is equal to constant. This is also V is equal to constant. Here B is equal to constant. B is equal to constant. We all know that the heat rejection process, this one and this one, occurs in constant volume. But uh, anyone thought that why it is only constant volume? The other process that is heat addition process, it may change from uh, constant volume or constant pressure or whatever. But the heat rejection process is always constant. That is, uh, it is always in uh, constant volume. So why it is only constant volume? Heat rejection process. There are many process. in which we can do the heat rejection like volume is equal to constant pressure is equal to constant temperature is equal to constant or adiabatic process or polytropic process these are the process in which we can uh, do heat rejection but i will start with temperature is constant why this is not possible because uh, in heat rejection uh, heat is re rejected that means temperature should decrease as air is uh, not changing any phase so we we uh, we know that temperature will, will in, uh, decrease for heat rejection process so temperature decrease that means temperature cannot be constant so this is not possible then comes the adiabatic process in heat rejection the heat will decrease but For adiabatic process, the uh, heat should be constant. So, if the heat is decreasing, that means it should not be 
that means change in heat is not equal to zero so it is not adiabatic now comes the polytropic process for polytropic process volume of gas inside the combustion chamber uh, should be uh, the volume of gas inside the combustion chamber should be greater than the uh, volume of uh, combustion chamber so polytropic process is also not possible now comes the pressure is equal to constant this is also not possible because uh, in in the mm, in the combustion chamber uh, here pressure is more and here uh, uh, outside pressure is uh, atmospheric so due to this pressure difference the uh, the exhaust occurs that means the heat rejection occurs so if uh, in both places pressure will be constant then this whole process of heat rejection will not occur that's why we cannot take pressure is equal to constant so the remaining will be volume is equal to constant we can also uh, explain it uh, uh, thermodynamically or theoretically also because as we know that when the piston when the piston moves towards tdc here the combustion starts uh, earlier the air the air and fuel mixture is present here when it is going to compress piston is going to compress this air at that time uh, this is going to tdc it is going towards tdc and uh, from tdc and then the combustion starts and then it comes back to uh, from comes back towards bdc so the whole process occurs very instantaneously that means we can assume that the volume of uh, volume inside here inside the uh, where the combustion exactly takes place it remains constant uh, so uh, we can say that volume is equal to constant so this is the only possible for heat rejection now you are wondering that what about the heat addition process here also same things are possible volume is equal to constant pressure is equal to constant temperature is equal to constant adiabatic process or polytropic process here we also start with temperature is equal to constant heat addition that means temperature should be increased as air is air don't change the phase phase its phase so temperature should increase that means temperature cannot be remains constant so this is not possible now for adiabatic same case as in heat rejection uh, in heat addition heat should increase that means the change in heat cannot be equal to zero so adiabatic is not possible then polytropic process here also volume of gas inside the combustion chamber is greater than the volume of the combustion chamber if we do Uh, polytropically so polytropic process is also not possible now there are remaining two process available with us for heat addition process first one is volume is equal to constant second one is pressure is equal to constant when pressure is equal to constant that means constant pressure heat addition process we take in diesel cycle and constant volume heat addition process we take in petrol cycle or auto cycle so hello in uh, pressure is equal to constant what happens uh, like let's say there is a piston there is weight kept over piston and we heat this piston there is gas inside so we know that a formula p is equal to force by area uh. here the weight is not changing when heat is 
it is adding uh, inside the inside the uh, piston inside the uh, combustion chamber uh, weight is not changing that means force will remain constant and here also area is not changing as if uh, we are fixing the piston then area is also constant that means pressure can be constant so this is possible now for volume is equal to constant Here there is a piston. Here it is TDC. When compression takes place, when compression takes place, then the air inside, inside here above the piston, it is very much energy, very less energy. It consists of very less energy. So as the as the uh, as the piston compresses the air, this energy increases. And also when the combustion starts. Like you, we do the ignition, or in the case of petrol or auto cycle, we do the sparking. Then what happens? Ignition starts. Ignition starts and combustion starts. D due to that combustion, its energy further more increases. So uh, here the energy is increasing, and here the TDC, here the piston is moving towards TDC and going, moving towards TDC and coming, uh, coming backwards towards BDC also. So the this process occurs very instantaneously. That's why we assume that volume is equal to constant. Now we have to calculate the. Now let's go back to the diagram of motorcycle. PV curve and TS curve. We have to calculate the. We have to calculate the efficiency of the auto cycle. We know that efficiency is equal to work done by heat addition, work done, or we can also say that heat addition minus heat rejection by heat addition. As we know that this is heat addition and this is heat rejection. And here also, this is heat addition, and this is heat rejection. For heat addition, we can also simplify it like one minus H R by H A. For heat addition. DQ is equal to here. Uh, it is constant volume heat addition. That means CV specific heat at constant volume and T3 minus T2 heat rejection minus DQ minus MCV. It is also occurring in constant volume T1 minus T4. So we can simplify it as T4 minus T1. We will put it here. Auto is equal to one minus MCV T4 minus T1 by MCV. T three minus T two. Now we can cut this. That means we are remaining with one minus T four minus T one by T three minus T two. Now we have to simplify it. Now we know that there is a term compression ratio R. It is V one by V two. There is also a term expansion ratio. Equal to 
v4 by v3. In this case, v4 is equal to v1 and v3 is equal to v2. So we can write that as v1 is equal to v2 is equal to same. That is compression ratio. Expansion ratio is also compression ratio. Now in the process one to two. In the process one to two, what happens is one to two is adiabatic compression process. That means we can write this formula. That means from here v1 by v2 is equal to r. That means 1 by r to the power gamma minus 1. Same is the case with process 3 to 4. 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. T3 by T4 is equal to V4 by V3 gamma minus 1. V4 by V3 is V1 by V2. That means R to the power gamma minus 1. And if we keep it as 1, this is Two, this is three. We know a simple mathematics that if a by b is equal to c by d, we can write it as a minus c is equal to by b minus d. Same is the case here. If we uh, uh, we have the terms. T4, T1, T3, T2. When we simplify this, we will get the auto cycle efficiency is one by r to the power gamma minus one from one, two, and three. So that's all. Thank you.